And um, Dr. Hahn, you have several outlets on right now, interesting about the two variants. They know, thank you for leaving your other meeting and letting us pull you out. We do all appreciate that. And I think you are free to start telling him what you know about BA2, and I will turn it over to you, Dr. Hahn. Sounds good. Um, so first, my name is Dr. George Hahn, H-A-N, a Deputy Health Officer here at the County of Santa Clara Public Health Department. Uh, so I can uh, let you know that uh, we do have here in Santa Clara County reports of two cases of the BA2 sublineage of the Omicron variant. Um, and so for a little background, the Omicron variant uh, is that has caused uh, big surges all around the world, including in our county. Um, that is being driven by the BA1 sublineage of Omicron, um, but the BA2 sublineage of Omicron is much rarer, um, but it has begun to pop up in places, um, including in California, um, and of course in, in Santa Clara County. Um, and it has uh, been popping up in other places around the world. But um, the, the main thing about this sublineage is that because it is so much less common, we don't know that much about it. Um, uh, what we get, from what we can tell, early indications say that it probably behaves just like the BA1 uh, Omicron lineage. Um, but again, it's, it's probably too early to tell because of the, the small number of cases that have occurred so far. Um, and so with that, um, I think um, we, we, we're, we would be monitoring the situation. And I would say that the, um, you know, the vast majority of our Omicron in our um, county and, and uh, around the country is still the BA1 sublineage of Omicron. And with that, um, we don't have a lot of time, but we'll see if there's a couple questions out there. I don't see anything in the chat. Does anyone have a question? Um, Dr. Hahn, there is a follow-up about um, how did we ID BA2? Oh, so the, the, the way that you can uh, figure out if it, it's BA1 or BA2 is by doing whole genome sequencing. And so as you probably know, um, most cases do not get sequenced, but, uh, but some do. Um, and so um, it just so happened that, that in amongst the sequence cases that get reported to us, um, we've had two reported. And then I saw another question about, um, yeah. is, is it more transmissible? And uh, the answer, we, we don't know the answer to that um, because I, you know, as I mentioned, it, it's, um, there's not that many cases. So, so it's hard to study something that's rare. Um, and all I can say is, you know, we don't know at this point, uh, and that's something we'll, we'll want to keep an eye out. Dr. Hahn, can you tell us if uh, this was sequenced at Stanford, and if it was sequenced from somebody who, or for two cases, who were in the hospital? I don't know the answer to those questions. Um, I, I think one thing is that um, as, we, as time has gone on, as, as you probably know, uh, because the pandemic has gone on and, and we have so many cases uh, reported to us that, uh, that we, we don't really track um, the level of detail that we did you know, towards the beginning of the pandemic. All right, all, I, can anyone hear me? I've, comp I've been locked out. Yes. Okay, so just, I just wanna make sure we have time for maybe one more question. I do need to get Dr. Han back. Is there any more follow-up from anyone else? I don't see anything else in the chat or Dr. Han, can you see it? My computer is frozen. So I'm kind of stuck at the moment. Yeah, I did. It's Marianne with, oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, I saw a question about um, being identified as a variant under investigation by WHO. Um, what would escalate it to a variant of concern? Is there a specific criteria? So um, I, I don't know specific, I can't speak specifically to the criteria that the WHO, the World Health Organization would use to elevate it to a variant of concern or anything like that. Um, but I can speak generally that in general, um, variants are designated as variants of concern when they are um, causing more illness or that they're more severe um, or vaccines don't work against them or, or things like, or treatments don't work against them. That's in general, the kinds of, questions that we want to um, ask when we're uh, thinking about uh, labeling a variant as a variant of concern. 
And then Dr. Han, we have two more and then we'll let you get going. Maybe someone's asking specifically about, do we know the details of the individuals yet? And then the, is the transmission level versus Omicron. And with that, we will let you get back to your meeting that I rudely pulled you out of. No problem. All right, that sounds good. I thank you for the opportunity to speak with you. Oh, can you answer those last, do you have anything on those last two? No, not beyond what I had mentioned already. All right, perfect yeah. then. All right, everybody. Thank you so much, Dr. Han. Thank you. Um, everyone else, you can reach me if you have more questions and we'll go from there. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks, Roger. Thanks so much.